So the car show started uh, as a kind of a call to action that Pastor Bob gave around 2001. And several, uh, he had asked several people to find a way to reach out to those who didn't come to the church, who uh, hadn't normally come in on a Sunday service or just simply hadn't gone into church. Tim and Jennifer King kind of answered that response with, with the thought of a car show. Um, that first year we had about 20 cars. Um, most of those cars were actually from members that came to the church service already, but it had started a, a, a trend, it had planted a seed. Right around 2000, late 2003, I had shown some interest. I was not a saved person yet. Um, Tim King was a friend of mine. I had seen him um, run the show, was interested in what he did. I uh, got to see something unique. There was something different about those people who were here. Something was just not what I had been used to. I went to a place where you could have a motorcycle and or a loud car and still be called a Christian. You could come and literally do burnouts at the end of the show and it was not offensive to anyone. It was encouraged actually. When 04 comes around, that was the first year I'd actually decided to go into the service and check things out. Uh, when I went into the service, I noticed something was different. I, I, I didn't stay for the full service, but I kind of got to see what, what it was about. The band was playing. Um, it was not a normal service that I was used to. It was, uh, it was something very different, something very unique for me. At the end of that show, we had a few more cars. It was still only probably about 30 to 35 cars, but this time it was 30 to 35 cars that were all people outside of the church. I had started to show interest in the church, started to come to some of the services, started to come to some of the sermons, those kind of things. And then lo and behold, December, on a Sunday morning, I actually came in for service and ended up answering an altar call and got saved. When the show started in 05, I played a much more active role. And 05 went very well. 05, I think we had about 45 to 50 cars, all from outside of the church. Six, seven, and eight went, went very well also. By this time, we'd started to decide of maybe changing the date. We'd always had it right around um, Mother's Day, and that worked out, but the weather didn't always cooperate. So we moved the show uh, to right around Labor Day, and we called it the Car Rally. I wanted to continue the show on. I wanted to keep it going. I wanted to find a ways to make it better. And this past year, we did that. We broke our record. We had 76 entries. It went really smooth, and it changed lives. I don't actually have a classic car of my own. I don't even have a motorcycle anymore that I used to when I started. Even if you don't have a nice car, everybody uh, has a stereotype again that if you go to a car show, you must have an old classic car. You otherwise don't go. That's not at all the case. Car shows are for the whole family, from young to old, whether you have a car or whether you don't. And my hope is, is that I want to keep the tradition going. The church has picked up a slogan called, Make Life Better. And I want to basically take the car show, which made my life better, and make lives better in all those who touch, that the car show touches. Mm -hmm.